multimedia analysis, qualitative methods and linguistic research. First of all, it is important to understand why should a researcher record. Recording allows other researchers to review the actual data use and draw independent conclusions. Through it can be created an audio and video database useful for comparative analysis of phenomena. It allows repeated and deferred observation. And it captures the immediate context of the phenomenon. But which one to choose? Audio or video? It depends on the research purpose. To decide between both, it is necessary to have a clear idea of the phenomena to be studied and the type of data needed to support research findings. The criteria to take into account when deciding are, why is the data being collected? How will the presence of the researcher and the recorder impact the activities being studied? And what are the financial and logistic constraints? Video is preferable when it is also necessary to have information about behaviors of the speakers and respondents, and for a multimodal phenomenon. Audio is used when nonverbal data are unnecessary. It has the advantages of being simpler and cheaper than video recordings. Now, when only a general visual set of the setting is needed, a photograph can be used instead of a video. Let's see the considerations for preparing to record. When purchasing equipment, since the quality of the recorder determines the quality of the sound and images with which you will work, consider making a high-quality recorder a budget priority. Consider the advantages of digital technology. Most non-professional analog recordings are of lower audio quality than digital ones. Reach a balance between quality and affordability. Check connectivity between the different equipment components. Without the necessary equipment, memory, and processing power, some tasks will take an exceedingly long time. An important advice, never use original recordings for data analysis. The original recording should be played once in order to create a working backup copy. After being copied, originals should be stored safely away. Before recording, obtain informed consent from the research participants and always treat them with respect. Field researchers are recommended to take the time to introduce themselves to participants, to explain what they're asking of them, and to encourage them to spend as much time as they need going over the consent forms and asking questions. The next step is recording in the field. It's very important to be prepared. Be ready early on the day of recording, and arrive before to solve any problem that may rise up and to be familiarized with the physical and social environments. Have a checklist of tasks and equipment, set everything up, adjust the camera zoom, and help the participants on how to use the microphones if needed. At the end of the day, watch the recordings as you back them up in order to catch problems and to ensure that the recorded data match your analytic objectives. The post-recording data manipulation includes backing up copies of data with the highest quality possible. Consider making one backup copy for safety storage and another as a working copy for repeated playback during analysis. If you plan to back up onto CDs or DVDs, remember that these involve compression and quality loss. You can make copies with two camcorders or two audio recorders. Tasks in preparing data for analysis are several and they include capturing audio slash video, segmenting, playback, annotating and highlighting of data segments, adding subtitles for presentations, and converting and compressing data for storage on hard drives, CDs and DVDs. You may need to combine different software applications, since a single application may not do everything you need. In preparing for transcription, consider what aspect of communication to start with. How and how much should be transcribed. Use analytic goals to determine whether to transcribe verbal communication non-verbal communication, or both. Then, transcribe in modality layers. Start with one aspect of communication and then add others as they become relevant. The researcher decides when to stop enriching the transcription of a specific segment. Producing and using recorded data is complex. It requires a commitment of time and resources, purchasing equipment, deciding when and how to record, and manipulating data for analysis. The best way to approach all the tasks involved is as a learning process, where one improves one's understanding over time by trial and error. Recording, despite its challenges, is a research effort worth pursuing. With clear theoretical goals in place, 
technology makes possible the collection of new forms of data. Thank you for your attention.